All right, so act two, part two of the Halloween event. I haven't beaten this yet, and I kind of want to find a loadout that can do it pretty easily. And I don't mean solo, I mean like actually like just straight up be able to do it. So like what would be a good thing to use, you know, if I'm playing with other people? Uh, I have an idea with this actually. Yes, it's really been a while since Shotcutter has been used. No golden perks because then, you know, that's, that's not very fair. But you know what? I kind of like what I got here. I got these pretty um i don't know i don't know if i'd call, call them uh lower level towers but uh i got some good players so let's see if we're gonna be able to win this now shotgunner is not something that uh i, I think has been used in this event i'm gonna be honest it is not uh the most popular tower it's kind of been forgotten but this upgrade this is what i need and yes shotgunner does some fantastic damage when it does damage this guy was too busy talking instead of actually defending let's be right back with a better team all right, we got a golden pyro down. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Great damage, and the pyro will, of course, be able to finish all of that off. Oh, two golden pyros, even better. Hmm, doesn't seem like we're killing these skeletons, so I'll help out my teammates by putting down an ace. Oh, now if this skeleton gets past my ace, I'm going to be upset. Kill it, yes! Well, since my teammates have level two pyro, uh, that's probably, honestly, enough defense for the ghosts that are going to come out, so uh, I'm just going to get the bomb dropper. I also brought my own pyro. I won't be using it because my teammates have this. But, you know, if I'm able to win with this strategy, I'm going to assume a decent amount of people are going to start using it. Because it is a relatively, you know, lower level friendly strategy. Oh, very be nice. Okay, uh, I don't know why I said very be nice. I meant to say it would be very nice to kill the, the ghost, and we did. But yeah, look at this. This shotgunner is doing great work. Took off a lot of HP off of all of those enemies. And it actually still is. The strategy is definitely more generalized. Like, for example, if another one of your teammates already has Shotgunner, you should probably be using an Ace. If your teammates are also using an Ace, then you can use Pyro. And if your teammates are already using Pyro, you know, you just get options with this strategy because you don't know what kinds of players you're going to get. And, you know, eventually you'll get a game where everybody's using, you know, good enough towers to win. Minigunner especially, this is for late game. I bought a DJ as my support tower of choice. You can make any modifications you want to this loadout, like instead of Pyro, you know, you could maybe bring Commander. And yeah, these shotgunners are getting the work done. I mean, look at all of this. All these enemies end up going by the shotgunners with so much less HP. Pretty underrated tower, I should say. But yeah, what I think I'm going to do here is probably invest into a discount DJ for my teammates. Well, not just for my teammates, but for me and our teammates. We've got two level three pyros and that, yeah, that, that's going to eliminate everything. Oh, here comes the witch. Yeah, this is the round uh, uh, we got the pursuit for, even though pursuit's not going to help that much. So I think it's mainly just going to be ace pilot doing the damage to this witch. Uh, so in that case, probably would have been a good idea to get the aerial ace. Despite that, I think... If the pursuit stops doing this, we'll kill that witch. Ah, yikes. Uh, well, I guess I'll just put an ace back here. Uh, should be good to damage the witch enough to kill it. Not kill it. I meant, uh, you know, just get it low enough so that we don't die. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna upgrade this ace. Because I kind of forgot about these witches. Uh, okay, anyways. Can I please make the rest of my money? The pursuit's definitely helping out a lot, but, uh... Without this aerial ace, uh, come on, bro. I'm making barely any money. Oh, we got a ranger. Thank goodness. Okay, that's going to definitely carry. There you go, aerial ace. That's also going to do some good work. Lots of stuff on this round. We got the mutation modifier, the same thing as on polluted wastelands, which is probably why, uh, you know, the enemies are kind of a little bit tough here. They got all their shield. We also got a level 3 pursuit. Yeah, this thing is uh, doing a lot of damage. Very interesting cutscene. Have no idea what happened. All right, there you go. I got discount DJ now. Oh, well, I got it right on time. Yo. Viagra went from a scared mortal girl to this. Wow, this character development is this is a time lord. Turn on the We kind of need you around. Well, I think it's a uh, seems like a pretty good time to get a mini gunner down. And maybe DJ would have been better here, but it uh, seems fine. I'll get shotgunners back uh, just because I think, you know, we could use them. And oh god, yeah, these enemies are pretty strong. Now, do we have commander? Oh god, that witch just did something not normal. That it just it just expanded that skeleton. We got Frankenstein on this round. Don't think he'll be a problem because uh, well, we got good stuff. I guess since we don't really have a problem, I can work on maybe I don't know. I'll probably get geared up and then I'll go for max DJ. Geared up is just going to do more damage, so I'll be making more money. 
Oh, wow. There we go. Okay, Frankenstein does that. Of course it does that. We also finally got a commander down. This is going to come in pretty handy. All right, we killed Frankenstein. Okay, there we go. It's not reviving again. There you go. I got geared up. Uh, definitely going to start working on my DJ now. A lot of hordes here. Seems like uh, some crowd control towers would come in very handy. Like maybe a mortar or a pyro, which my team for some reason has none of. Because I guess it's up to me to place the pyro. But I'm not even going to do that, honestly, because uh, I just wanted to max the DJ. But judging by the amount of enemies there are, it uh, it'd be very nice to have a pyro. Oh, also, we have a revived Frank and a Frankenstein. Not good. Also, hopefully the pursuits can take care of that. All right, here we go. This one's getting revived now. Uh, it'll be an easy kill. All right, finally, here we go. 25% range buff. Oh, wow, it just threw some death potion. I thought that hit the minigunner and, like, that would have killed it, but apparently not. But, yeah, so far, uh, seems pretty easy. I think if we had pyro, that would have definitely been extremely helpful. I don't know why our team's not getting down a pyro. There's just a lot of enemies that, uh, we would be handling easier right now. So, yeah, for these, uh, events, I'm not going to be doing, like, strategies, but I'll be showing some loadouts that work, some fairly easy ones. But I don't know how hard Act 3 is going to be. Because Act 1, it was pretty easy. This seems a lot harder. And then if Act 3 is then also a lot harder, I can only imagine... <laughs> You, you probably will not be able to make it through with Ace Pilots. Even though, like, Ace Pilot is a really good tower, even up to high level. Even when you have Accelerators and Golden Mini, uh, Ace Pilot is still a good choice. That's how good of a tower it is. And man, this large Frankenstein is just... It, it, it's terrifying. Oh, and it's no longer large. Also, those little skulls that appear, those red skulls, those are, like, slowing down, you know? It's not a stun. Boom, it just slowed down my DJ. Uh, also, this clown is uh, uh, bypassing. Can we please get that? Yes, we should be able to because uh, we still have this ranger, which is doing 80 damage, and it'll snipe that down. There we go. And, of course, there's still this to take care of, which I think we get no money from. All right, there we go. We finally got our money, and we can now max out the DJ. We have a demon to defeat, 3.5k HP. That is not even difficult. Oh, now that we have, uh, you know... Oh, wait. Look at that HP just flying down. Yeah, what is he gonna do? He needs to do something, uh, pretty interesting in order to, you know, make it make it difficult. Oh, he spawns little demon sins. Well, uh, those are also easy. I'm gonna finally get down a pyro. This should be in range of the DJ. Yep, there we go. So it's discounted. And we're just gonna burn the heck out of everything here. That did 16 damage. That All of that fire did 16 damage. We definitely need to upgrade this thing now. We've also got stuff pushing pretty far down. Don't think it's going to be an issue. I mean, we got the pursuit here. We got the... We got... Oh, whatever. Oh, it makes towers 200% slower. Is that skull thing. That's kind of brutal. This man's also probably saving up for a max level accelerator. So we are currently missing out on like a whole player's worth of defense. And we're still doing just fine. All right, here we go. Let's buy Fire Hazard. Uh, I'm pretty sure every level of the Pyro is a Fire Hazard anyways, uh, but I guess it's even more of a Fire Hazard now. Uh, we've also got... Okay, I thought that was its own enemy, but that's just Frankenstein. We've got yet another Demon, and our guy almost has a max level Accelerator. He just needs like 1,000 more dollars. And there we go, level 5 Accelerator. Now, this thing is gonna make the game, like, way easier. Yeah, all of these Frankensteins are just, just dying like they're nothing. I love Accelerator. Look at that damage. That damage fantastic. I think it would be very nice if our teammate upgraded the intelligence radio just so all our towers could get more range at the start of the round. You know that buff? Also, I got $4,000. I think I'm going to invest this into the Pyro as well. Yeah, I think Pyromaniac is a good investment to go for. So we've got some Hollow Guards. I'm pretty sure I know where these are from. Uh, the Necromancer. Or I guess maybe the Necromancer's guards are from this mode, but you know, I, I reviewed Necromancer before I even played Act 2. And oh my god, we've got a werewolf with 6,000 health. I remember this thing during um, night 2 of the Solar Eclipse event. Solar Eclipse event was just something truly wonderful. So yeah, this is basically a tank and I think uh, should, shouldn't should be that difficult. He's only at 1k HP. Yeah, so we're, we're going to kill him. And uh, yep, yeah, of course, there he goes. He only had 8% defense, which is rather low. Thanks to this pyro over here. The pyro is being a little stupid. It's trying to burn the demon, which clearly says no burn. Eh, there we go. We got enough money for Pyromaniac, though. This thing is going to do its work, I'm hoping. Maybe there just happens to be a bunch of flame-resistant stuff, and I'm just currently, for no reason, upgrading this. All right, let's see its damage, and, uh, no, it's, it's, I mean, it's doing damage. It's just 
not doing a lot. Yeah, it really isn't doing all that much. Well, besides the fact that it burns armor, maybe it's probably not worth going for Max Pyro. We got a Reaper on this round with 13,000 HP. Let's hope that uh, I'm going to be able to max this minigunner before that time. But by the looks of it, these enemies are not easy. Towers just got stunned, but I did max out my minigunner, so this thing is going to be getting out way more damage now. And yeah, by the looks of it, the, the Reaper's dead. Oh, what was that? Oh, the Ranger is now actually giving us a range buff. That That's pretty nice. I'm going to make an investment here, which might not be the best investment, but I'm going to upgrade the shotgunner. Huh, it's doing no damage. Ain't that great. No, it actually does zero damage. Uh, I don't know if it's a bug or if uh, this is intended, but this thing is... Yeah, it's not doing damage. My minigunner's doing damage. Yeah, that, that one's doing fine. I literally don't know what's up with this. I guess it can't damage some stuff. In that case, uh, another minigunner it is. Oh, we got a reaper with uh, a lot of HP back here. Hopefully, uh, we can defeat this. Okay, this stuff is getting kind of far, but I have faith. We got we got accelerators, we got ranger. Oh, God. Two reapers? This isn't exactly fair. What, what is this? Well, well, this is not fair. Yeah, I don't think our towers can, can kill that. Uh, we got sledger. That that works, but why are we getting it so late? I think definitely a turret is a good investment on this map. Turret has so much range and yeah, stuff like this just wouldn't be a problem. And oh my god, we, we our teammates just actually <laughs> clutched up with those. Last round as it seems. Here comes Jackobot. Oh my god, this guy is uh, barely visible. And he's also stunning a lot. And he also has 500,000 HP, which is a lot. Just look at this guy, dude. Look at him go. There's a little, like, character inside of him. Yeah, watch him go crazy. All right, yeah, that's enough looking at him. We gotta upgrade our uh, minigunner, wherever that may be. Oh, yes, it's over here, and I can't click it. Hmm, medic might also be a good investment. Like, instead of pyro, I could have went medic. Gonna get uh, yet yeah, another minigunner right here. And, yeah, wow, fr freezing apparently works great. So if you have freezer... Uh, I'm joking. I, I really don't know. I don't think Freezer is going to be good. But come on, Rangers. Y'all got this. Oh, that's 3,000 HP. I mean, maybe maybe our teammates are going to clutch up with a... Uh... Yeah, they are. Okay. Genuinely, Freezer might not be a terrible choice. But, like, if you use it and it doesn't work out, uh, don't don't tell people that I, I suggested it. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now it's just Jackobot. I got to say, though, this is not an easy event. Like, yes, you can win with these towers, but you're probably not going to win with these towers. If you have Accelerator, something good, you're definitely going to need one of those. Oh, look at him go crazy on this one sledger. Yeah, that's not very fair. I'm also not making a lot of money. I should probably sell the stuff back here because it's uh, pretty useless. And I wonder what this guy's saying by hours of misery. Has, has he really been trying to beat this for hours? This is literally like my first try, and I'm beating it with a pretty simple loadout. I guess Shotgunner and Ace Start is pretty good. And late game, you'll win if you have good stuff. I don't know. Rangers. Uh, accelerators. Accelerators are probably not needed, though. They, uh, yeah, they're probably not needed. Oh, he's talking about UGC. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he struggled to win, though. It's like a hard event. So, you know, if you're like a lower level player, this is a decent enough loadout, I should say, to use. Eventually, you'll find a good team and it'll work out. I'm assuming it shouldn't take that long. The most replaceable thing here is definitely Pyro, because everybody uses Pyro anyways. So, you know, you can take Medic or Commander or something else. Maybe you can even replace DJ if if you wish. Because from what I saw earlier, you know, crowd control would be nice. But yeah, that, that was Jackobot. Uh, surprisingly, uh, no problem. And I really don't understand the Umbra lore any better after this. But if this helps or you're just watching this far in the future to see what the event was like, you should like and subscribe and use Starcody and see ya.